Today, these are holy moments. Today, we're not just going to talk about God. We are, you are, going to talk to God, the maker of heaven and earth, the savior and redeemer of every human being. And I want to challenge you to do that with great intensity. Not manufactured emotion, not drummed up feelings, but a deeply, deeply focused, as well as you are able to, with his help, mind, and heart because we're dealing with what matters most. We're trying to find healing for the radical evil in our souls. Dallas Willard writes this on page 60 of Renovation of the Heart. Few today have discovered they have been disastrously wrong and that they cannot change or escape the consequences of it on their own. There is little sense of, woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the living God. And Dallas goes on, Yet, without this realization of our utter ruin, and without the genuine revisioning and redirecting of our lives, which that bitter realization naturally gives rise to, no clear path to inner transformation can be found. It is psychologically and spiritually impossible. We will steadfastly remain on the throne of our universe so far as we are concerned, perhaps trying to use a little God here and there. So this is the question. Are you done trying to use a little God here and there? And will you take yourself off the throne of this universe. Dallas writes in this chapter about how the uh, classic history of Alcoholics Anonymous is titled simply Not God because the struggle for every alcoholic is to come to the realization, I am not God. And unless they hit bottom, unless there is this bitter realization that I'm lost and I cannot save myself, then there is no hope. But if that's found, there is no hope. So will you bring great intensity to this? I was talking today today to a very good friend who always inspires and challenges me very deeply. He was talking about areas in which human beings will challenge themselves immensely. Basketball player Steph Curry, he said, practices when they don't have a game every night from 8 till 10.30 at night. And when asked, why would you practice from 8 to 10.30 at night? That's when the games are. I will do whatever it takes. I will beat my body and make it my slave so that it will serve my purpose when it counts. Tom Brady has just retired this week, and the stories are legion and legend of the level of preparation, the sacrifices that he is willing to make, the denial of self in order to pursue another Super Bowl. Pablo Casal is a great cellist. When he was the best cellist in the world, would practice eight hours a day and would ask, why would you do that when you're the best? He would say, because I think I'm getting better, and I will do anything in order to be able to make this kind of music. When Andy Grove was at Intel, there was a young man, a friend of mine, who uh, was asked, what are your career goals by Andy? And he kind of stumbled, and Andy called him up when he got back to his desk and said, I asked you some really important questions today, and you answered them badly. Be in my office tomorrow, i have better answers. He said that being mentored by Andy Grove was like going to the dentist without Novocaine. Why do we bring that intensity to games and hobbies and music and work and money, when we live this one life, and I have children, and I have a spouse, or I have friends, I have a soul, I have a God, I just drift through it. So there's a dear friend, Greg, his wife, Corinne Ferguson, and I were together back in Chicago at Willow Creek Church. And uh, he has written a song, I'm the Man. And I want you to listen to this song as though you are the prodigal son returning to the father. 
Did I make you cry? Did I break your heart? Then prepare as you listen to this song to make a prayer of confession and to try to help to God. And then we'll do that together. Now, this is a hard prayer, a prayer of confession and remorse, the prayer of the prodigal coming home. So I invite you wherever you are, close your eyes. As best you can, God will help you focus now your memory, your thoughts, your will, your heart. And then whatever it is that you have to confess to God to come home. I'm a man of unclean lips, a woman of unclean lips. My deceit, my ego, my anger. Can't seem to control God, my toxic thoughts of resentment. 
hatred of those that I want to love. The way that I hide that budding addiction. All those things I have left undone, the moments of love that I could have lavished on other people, the gratitude and contentment I could have expressed, the generosity that instead turns into chronic discontented greed. I am the man, I am the woman. Lord, where have I grieved you? Now, Heavenly Father, in this moment, hear our cries. Even in the midst of, in spite of all this, we are your children, your sons and your daughters. And we want to ask your forgiveness. We want you to show us, as we're able to absorb it, what it is in our minds, our thoughts and our feelings, and in our wills, and in our bodies, and our habits, and our relationships with other people, and in our souls, what is warped and twisted and evil and wrong, so that you can heal it and be with us in the community where goodness can be restored. We can't. You can. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.